guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to talk about and review the Louis Vuitton 1.1 Millionaire Sunglasses. So originally I saw these glasses on a lot of celebrities and I thought they looked really cool. It was a really nice statement piece. Um, so I just went online, browsed around, and I noticed that they were in stock at a store. So I went ahead and grabbed a pair for myself. Okay. So this is the bag that it came in. And then this is the box that it came in. Um, so as you can see, really nice presentation. It's wrapped up with a little bow, um, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Um, it does come with a little booklet about aftercare. So this is the casing of the glasses. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take them out. So inside is suede, and then it comes in a little pouch like this. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And here they are. So I went with the color, um, they call it Gris, but it's really like a gray marble. It's really beautiful with silver hardware. Um, the lenses are dark. Um, I really like this one because, I mean, obviously we're gonna wear them out in the sun, so we do want kind of like a dark lens. Um, they did have a lot of other colors, they're like pastel colors, but the lens were really light, so I thought these were the perfect one. Also, the hardware is silver, which I really do like, um, which I didn't mention before. If you look closely, there's really nice details on the hardware at the top. Um, there's engraved monogram and then the initials LV on both of the sides as well as the lens. You can't really tell, but if you look in the bright light, you can see that there's LV on the upper right hand corner. So one important thing I wanted to share with you guys is the sizing. Um, so when I was browsing online, they had two options. It was W or E. Um, and at first I was like, what does that even mean? So I did some research and the W stands for Western and the E stands for Eastern. So what that basically is, is the Western is made for people with a higher nose bridge. So if your nose comes up a little higher, then Western would be for you. Um, and Eastern would be for those that have not a, not as big of a nose or a lower nose bridge. Um, so it is really important to pick the correct size for your sunglasses because you want them to fit comfortably. And also just FYI, if your glasses uh, rest on top of your cheeks, that means they are not the right size for you. So I hope that little info helped. So for as a first impression, I did notice that these glasses were really heavy. Um, they are, I mean, they're not extremely heavy, but they are heavier than your average sunglasses. So maybe this does have an effect on the wearability of the glasses. But I actually made a clip of me wearing them before and after, which I will include right now. All right, you guys, getting my day started um, in my car. It is 11, 10 a.m. We just put the glasses on and we're just gonna see how they are for the whole day. All right, so we are home now. It's now 2.45 p.m. Um, the glasses, as you can see, did leave a mark on my nose, but nothing a little powder can't fix. Um, and it did hurt a little bit, like, above my ear, um, but I just think because the glasses are so heavy, um, I mean, obviously with a couple hours, it's gonna, you're gonna feel the weight of the glasses, but yeah, you can see it left markings right there. All right, so you guys can see that the glasses, um, they are a little heavy, so they do leave some markings on your nose, which is not a huge deal because it does go away shortly after, or if you wear makeup, you can always put a little powder. Um, even you can put a little powder right here on the nose part of the glasses and it won't leave as dark of a marking. All right, so another thing that I really like about these glasses are they're super roomy. So if you're like me and you wear eyelashes, your eyelashes don't really brush up against the lens. So I'm putting them on right now and I don't have to put them a little, like any lower or not. I just wear them normally. It's super roomy. My eyes don't feel suffocated if that's even a thing. Um, so it's a really good plus. If you have long eyelashes or you wear fake eyelashes, your eyelashes will not brush up against the lens. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the pricing. To be completely honest with you guys, these are pretty pricey for some sunglasses. Um, from experience, usually designer gl glasses run anywhere from $400 to $600, but these come out to $935 uh, plus tax, so they are very pricey. 
but I do understand why they are such a pricey pair of sunglasses because the detailing is just great and it's actually just a really nice pair of glasses overall. Also, I must add that Virgil Abloh did a really great job on designing these glasses. He really took a lot of inspiration from the previous sunglasses and put them onto these. He made them more modern and very wearable um, and very trendy. And another thing that I have to add that these are men's sunglasses, but you know what? I think they're unisex. Honestly, they look good on girls and guys. Um, so I, pretty much anyone can wear them. So if you're a girl and you're looking to get these, get them. Alright, so my final thoughts on these. Um, to be completely honest, they are one of the coolest sunglasses I've ever seen. I'm glad to even own a pair of these. You can dress them up or down and your glasses will still stand out. The only downside about these glasses is that they are a little bit heavy. So after hours of wear, um, obviously you do kind of feel it on the sides and your nose. Um, but realistically, you're not going to be wearing these for a bunch of hours in the day. You're going to wear them when you step out in the sun or um, if you, even if you want to take a picture or if you're just going to go out somewhere really quick or... You know, just basically when you're outside. Would I recommend these glasses? Definitely. They're such a nice pair to have. Um, I honestly think they look really cool with anything. Girls and guys, anyone will look good in it. Anyways, that was the end of my video. I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other questions, if you're thinking about purchasing these glasses, or if you just had any other questions that I didn't cover in the video. Also, I have a lot more reviews coming for you guys, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see all of that. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.